Let us do a lab activity to understand the nature of friction and the concept of static friction. Click each tab to know more. The aim of this activity is to understand the nature of friction and the concept of static friction. The materials used in this lab activity are toy trolley, small wooden block, inextensible string, weight hanger, weights, pulley. Take a small toy trolley, place it on the table. Take a small wooden block, place it on the toy trolley. Take an inextensible string. Tie it to the trolley and pass it over a pulley as shown on the screen. Take a weight hanger and tie it to the other end of the string. Make sure that the toy trolley does not move. Now take a small weight and place it on a weight hanger. Observe the changes in motion of the wooden block and the toy trolley. Now keep on increasing the weight on the weight hanger. Observe the motions of both the wooden block and the toy trolley. In this activity, we have observed that the trolley with the wooden block on it comes into motion towards left with an acceleration while adding the weight on the weight hanger. Here, the wooden block is in motion with respect to the surface of the table, but it is at rest with the respect to the surface of the trolley. We have also observed that the speed of the trolley or trolley's acceleration will increase while increasing the weight on the weight hanger at a certain limiting of weight, the block comes into motion in the reverse direction of motion of the toy trolley's direction. This implies now that there exists a relative motion between the surface of the trolley and the block. We know that friction is the component of the contact force parallel to the surfaces in contact, which opposes the impending or actual relative motion between the two surfaces. In this activity, we learned that there exist two types of frictional force at a time. One is the static friction that exists between the surface of trolley and the wooden block kept on it and other is a sliding friction between the surface of the table and the toy trolley. Here, the wooden block is at rest relative to the surface of the trolley up to a certain limiting acceleration or limiting weight. The friction that exists at this stage is a static friction. So, when two objects are not moving relative to each other, a force opposes or resists the lateral movement of the objects and this force is called static friction. Similarly, the toy trolley moves with respect to the surface of the table. The friction that exists at this stage is a sliding friction. So, when the surface of one object moves relative to the surface of another object, it is called sliding friction.